Ryan, that must feel a long time coming. Yeah, like I say, it has been a long time coming. I, was, I turned pro uh, seven years ago. So yeah, it's been a long bumpy road. A lot, everyone knows in the boxing world and, and outside what happened. Obviously, the, bump, the bumps I've had and that, but the main thing is I'm here now, been fighting and I've got my, my total. So I'm reaping the rewards of the hard work that I've overcome the adversity and the hard work I've put in since then, so I'm happy. You've had so many obstacles, as you've said, and it was just, every time you get a little bit of momentum, yeah, yeah, yeah. it felt like it takes two steps yeah, back. Yeah. Now you've had a couple of fights, you've got that belt. You must feel like I've made the right decisions. Yeah, like I say, I said in the interview earlier, three, four years ago, maybe when I was going through most of my, my, my like bad time, I could have maybe not boxed again. Like it was looking like that sometimes, but I pushed through it. Like I knew I always knew I was going to win something and be a champion somewhere. So that's what kept me focused. I put the hard graft in since that, and then now I'm reaping the rewards, like I said, and then hopefully this is the first of many for two back-to-back -back good stoppages. And yeah, I'm hoping it's going to carry on for me, a bit of momentum. Frank will get me some more, some more big fights, more titles maybe, and then a big show down Southampton. Well, you've certainly been putting in some performances, like you've said. How did you see your performance today? You know, you were clinical in there. Yeah. It seemed like you just, you wanted it. Nah, I think um, first round I was a bit over eager, like, just I was trying a bit too hard to throw punches from out of range, but after the second and third round, I was getting my feet closer, then landing. Then, like I said, I'm feeling very, very strong at the moment. So every shot was a power shot, and it was when it was landing, he didn't want to know. And eventually, he started. Yeah, he, oh, he didn't weather the storm, and I got him out of there. Also, as you said, you would love us out to Southampton, but Southampton's not that close for you on a Friday night. The noise your supporters makes that must mean so much. As you heard in there, I think that's been the loudest support so far, and I think it will be all night. Obviously, it's a Friday night from Southampton, so it's a two-hour two hour journey. And for people, a lot of people have to take a day off work. So I've done nearly 250 tickets So from Southampton on a Friday night. I think that's very impressive. So I think if a show in Southampton, we'd do five, 600 easy. Do you know what I mean? Maybe more. So, yeah, hopefully a show in Southampton. Frank said they were trying to get a venue down there, so who knows what's next. Well, at least the journey home will be a lot quicker for them. But you're also going to have a lot of time now to think, what's the goals after this? Do you want to defend this? Are you looking at an English title, going towards a British title? What's the mind picture? Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, actually. Um, I don't mind defending this. Obviously, it's a, it's a big belt. Do you know what I mean? It gets me out of the rankings with the WBC if I defend it and that. But I've, um, there's been a change of hands in the uh, British title recently. Liam Dillon's just won it. Obviously, I don't know the man. I've got nothing bad to say about him. But that's a, that's a fight that I believe I can win and I believe that Frank can get for me. So, who knows, why not? British title next. I've been watching him and saying, yeah, I know I can nah, beat him. Nah, not at all, but I know I've got the beating of most people in my weight. So, why not? I, I, my, I let my trainers look at it. I don't like looking at it. I didn't even look at this me. I looked like one round. And then you overthink it. I hate doing that. So, I just get on with it. I let my team do that. Whoever, who knows what's next? I might defend this. Maybe Frank give me a British. Maybe a different title. Who knows? I'll do whatever I'm told to do. Is it that you see yourself in the gym and you feel like I'm the best in the country at my division, at my level? Well, obviously, there's a lot of big names like it, like world total, world to champions like Joe Godina there in my country. So I can't say I'm the best in the country, but a little bit lower domestically than that. I fancy myself for most people. So who knows what route I could go down the WBC route now? Could we we'll just see what my team brings for me? Well, whatever happens, there's going to be some exciting fights ahead. I'm sure of that. Yeah, like you say, my style is exciting. There's two back-to-back -back stoppages. They're always going to be big fights, and you see my crowd there, always going to be the loudest and the most entertaining. My style is entertaining there. I was, so any fight I'm in will be good. One thing, lastly, the, the Ghana flags. <laughs> yeah. People have been loving that part. Yeah, like uh, they said in the interview after, Steve Bunce is calling me Acro Ghana now. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously there's capital of Ghana in it. So, yeah, it's just a little thing. It come up, obviously my last name is Ghana, and it's just a little... It's a good little thing going, everyone loves it, do you know what I mean? Dead put it on Twitter on the last fight and we just kept it going, do you know what I mean? Why not? So I'm to be covering the Ghana flags there when we come out. Yeah, 100%. Congratulations on the win and enjoy the bounce. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it.